ます。can be tempting as an investor to let our political opinions influence our decisions. If, for example, the party or candidate of our choice looks set to win an election and we're feeling optimistic about the future of the economy, we might want to increase our exposure to stocks. But it's a dangerous strategy. First of all, I should say there's nothing wrong with, with having a political view. Um, but I think translating that into an investment portfolio is maybe not the most productive use of time. Um, there are other more important changes you can make uh, that are going to have a closer link between what you want to achieve and the outcomes that you generate in your portfolio. Recent history has shown us that election and referendum results can be very unpredictable. Often the opinion polls get it wrong. But even if we knew the outcome in advance, it wouldn't necessarily help us to make money on the stock market. So if you gave me a, a crystal ball and it, it would predict the result of every election over the next year or so, uh, do I think uh, that I could make money on that? Um, yes, I think you could. But on the flip side, one, uh, particularly more recently, politics is quite hard to predict. It's, it's not easy. It's, it's, it's you know, embarrassing the experts. Second, the reaction you see from the markets isn't always the one that you might expect. Uh, and I'd, I'd point out actually the 2016 US election in this context, where at least in the lead up to the election, many commentators were saying that if uh, Donald Trump became President Trump, there would be a huge, uh, essentially a sell off in all dollar assets, sell off in equities, sell off in the bond markets, sell off in the US dollar. Um, that was the smart view heading into the election. Uh, and then of course, in the result, nothing like that happened. Another problem is that opinion is sharply divided on which parties are best for stock markets. True, markets tend to like governments that are business friendly and cut taxes. But the statistics show that in the US and the UK, for example, it really doesn't make much difference which party is in power. We can take a look at just the strict record and, and that says, OK, on average, um, the, the Dow, Jones, Industrial Average, the S&P 500 have done marginally better uh, under the Democrats. However, and this is why it's disputed, um, first of all, there haven't been a, a lot of changes in administration, either in, in the UK or in the US. And secondly, it's incredibly dominated by a few events. Um, so you know, should we blame uh, George Bush or George W. Bush for the global financial crisis, which had really taken hold by the time that Barack Obama took charge? Uh, should we blame Herbert Hoover for the 1929 uh, Great Depression? Now, if you do, uh, then you can see why um, that's going to have a really strong impact on the data. In summary, you should avoid letting your political opinions influence your investment decisions. It might look like an easy way to make money, but it's not. Thank you.